written in Kyra's head. This one is written in such bad broken English that I decided I should try reading it in my Yoda voice. <laughs> At least her reply anyways. I'll probably like, try the Russian voice in another part. <laughs> Hello, Terry. I am confident about you, I think. It is interesting to me that you now do, that me are not present with such information. I start to recollect your letters. You write so that at me heart is compressed. Such letters always at me in the head. Sorry, I can't keep going. <laughs> <laughs> me especially pleases when you mention a theme of the daily life. I understand that you not always have opportunity to write a masterpiece to this prevent. Wariness on work, small troubles on work, lack of dialogue with the favorite person, lack of pure air, <coughs> and opportunities to leave from daytime problems. But I, when you read your letters, all daily affairs leave on the second plan. I am glad that I have met such a person as you, which understands me and for which it is possible to describe the life with hope sometime, to lean against your shoulder, and to appear in your embraces. Yes, I really think that we could meet in a reality, but it will show us time. For now, we are compelled to write each other letters by email. Though very much it would be interesting to receive from you the letter by mail, Probably such letter goes for a long time. Sometimes I think about our relations and I hope that we not play a game with you. I hope that we create our happy future now. And I hope that you write it only the truth. Because I promise that I will never deceive you. I hate when someone <coughs> deceives me. And I think that we are serious in this. I feel sincerity in your letters. My soul tells me that you are the fair person. I didn't want to repeat a mistake of the past. I just want to have a happy future, and I hope that you want this too. I know that we can't meet with you right now, so I just wait this moment that will be in the future. We must learn much more about each other before we will meet with you. Sorry, I think that this is a bad idea to speak with you about why. So please, let's speak about something another. Do you love your work? I think that if somebody doesn't love his work, he is unfortunate. How do you think? I think that all must to do only things that they like. Anyway, do you have any friends? I think that it is necessary to have many friends. Because how I think our life will be much more better if we have many friends. What can I tell you else? You have a big dream. I have, but I think that maybe in the future I tell you about it. Please might strike me more about you, because it is very interesting for me to know the outlooks on life. What principles you have? I want, want that. I want to know all about you. I wait your next letter. Yours, Layubo. Hello, Layubo. This is Jerry, your knight in shining armor. While the description of myself is not quite fit, last week it was more like your knight in orange-colored jumpsuit. Not just last week earlier. It was many weeks before that. I think I had made last contact in December. I was out on a party with many co-workers back in December when I consumed too many tequilas, and it caused my vehicle to, part to renew a light pole from the ground. I, have, I, of course, received full charges of jail time for again crashing without license and caused damage to my co-worker's car. I say the problem of damage cost is his since he was drunk enough to trust me to drive. I should very much like to hear your thoughts on the situation, but I will have to save your notification ability for the next town. I have decided to go back home to Mexico and join the family trade. I hope all is well with you when the asteroid crashed. Even in prison, I have seen it. And it looked very damaging. I hope the asteroid did not hit you. Do you still have full health? <laughs> I hear there is shame now in Soviet Russia. Oh, wait, sorry, I forgot that. In Soviet Russia, asteroids is not just game, is number one rated reality TV. My doctor told me I had asteroids once, so he suggested I use preparation. <laughs> <laughs> I have tried recollecting your letters, but there was much spam in my inbox when I returned. I wish my daily affairs could leave on the plan, but the woman I had an affair with just will not go away. Her husband always bugs me to stop wasting such time on his computer, but I tell him I want wife too. He says I can use his until I get mine, but I get impatient. I tell you this much, it will be difficult living in a house with so much people. So when will you come to my location? Should I make contact again when I am relocated? I must leave before I am in more such troubles as I had before. I love you, Jerry.